Hello, happy Saturday evening from the studio. Normally, I would rather be at a concert right now, but I have a deadline next Saturday. I will be at Art in the Barn, and I love that darn show. I don't know, I'm a big old barn, they're good people. It's a fall thing, and I love fall. So anyhow, I just thought I would show you what I have been working on because I'm really excited. I've been on a roll, got deadlines. Nothing like a deadline to get you going. So at any rate, okay, so normally I say I am, I'm a 2D artist, but I always keep a toe in sculpture. Well, I think I'm ankle or knee deep now. So I've been doing these assemblages and um, they started actually, if I look back, quite a while ago and some of you may have some of these little guys in your collection. Lena Arifin, talking to you, um, where I started doing them really small scale and now I'm getting to be a bigger scale. And so I'm calling this Fall Oak Totem. And um, so it started with a panel um, with a print called Autumn Avery on it. And now, you know, I've put so many layers on it. There's only little bits and parts that come up. But um, I put oak leaves on top and use them as a resist before I sprayed ink on top. And then I put the actual leaves on, as you can see. And then um, a friend of mine, Alan Allison, they have big property, Buckthorn, totally invading their pristine property. So um, I took some of it and it's just gorgeous wood, although I know it wreaks havoc with um, their property. So anyhow, I thought that was a good reuse of Buckthorn. So anyhow, there's there's the first totem and then I, I'm not sure if he's done. I don't know. I don't know. Until next Saturday, he, he, may, he, he may be happening. This guy, totally zen, right? Frank Lloyd Wright proportions, I'm thinking. And um, again, this started with this panel that I just absolutely love and have been kind of dabbling with for years. So all you people ask me how long it takes, yeah. So I love a lot of the stuff that's happening within the panel and then I go back and I draw into the portions that I want to bring forward. But the bleeding, the cracking, the one color seeping into another, anyhow, I love all that kind of fluid things that happen and so this guy just kind of evolved and just kept going and I uh, love him so it's like it's like a very minimal stack um, so we've got Lake Superior rocks we've got branches we've got cross sections of those branches and then we have moss oh yeah because I've been obsessed with moss my entire life have you read signature of all things by Elizabeth Gilbert. Mm, well, you should. Okay, and last one where I completely went um, crazy. Well, I, I like to add a lot of stuff. More is more. So uh, this one started out with this panel, which um, I added a soft shell turtle to, who shows up in my dreams. But anyhow, you have to bring me out for the last one if you want to hear that story. But anyhow, so this is called Turtle Tadpole Totem. And look at that bad boy. No turtles died to make this piece. That is a cast replica of a turtle that I bought from a Canadian Indian tribe. And yes, behind there, ooh, it's the Norse sky. And yes, there's phosphorus pigments on top of there. That will glow when you turn off the light. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Red pine bark ooh, up on top broke acorn and okay I knew when I got these blocks 20 years ago I'd figure out what to do with them and then to we've got sky up above and we've got water down below and a swarm of tadpoles and then pulled it all together with some bracket fungus wrapping around the edge so at any rate okay oh now I've babbled on far too long for the average consumers attention span but at any rate uh, these are three of my favorites that I'm getting ready to bring to Art the Barn next weekend